Hi, my name is Jet Desert Fox. I am an Airsoft YouTuber, and we are here in New Milford, Pennsylvania for Desert Fox events, Citadel Assault 3. So I have actually been doing events since about 2003, 2004, and I had stopped doing, I had stopped hosting events because YouTube pretty much took over uh, as my main source of like Airsoft. Well, I decided to just start another production company with my own rule set and with an app that I developed uh, alongside Josh Warren and Brian Clarkson. Uh, we all have different roles to play within the company. Uh, particularly, you know, I do a lot of the marketing and I'm the face of the company. Josh does a lot of the uh, admin work and on-field staffing and then Brian handles a lot of the back-end stuff like registration and customer service. So right now we run about four events per year uh, starting in Southern California at a place called George Air Force Base. It is a Cold War era abandoned Air Force Base in Victorville, California. Uh, we host another event at 878 Airsoft in Waxahachie, Texas. Uh, another one at uh, a place called Blast Camp in Hobart, Indiana. And our last stop for the year is usually here at New Milford at EMR Event Park. The average attendance for each Desert Fox event game is usually around 200 players, uh, with the exception of the Southern California one, which for whatever reason we get 600. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what it is, I think it's the AO. We choose the leadership based off of uh, a couple of factors. Are they in the region? Are they available, obviously? Um, we prefer to find veterans uh, or, or highly experienced airsoft players. So it's not like a thing where it's just like, oh, hey, Joe Schmo sent us this application. You know, we, we want to make sure you've got some credibility and capability too to lead others. Uh, the generals we have are uh, myself, actually. I'll be leading the ERT team, which is the red and the green team. Co-leading that team will, with me is uh, Darwin. And then on the TSS team, which is the blue and tan team, it's Corey and Ian. What really separates us from other event companies is our uniform rules. So not only is it just the standard green versus tan, but we also add in other colors to give players more creativity when it comes to choosing loadouts and kits. So you could be, if you want, you could be multi-cam and dress like an army ranger, or maybe you wanna look like a space ranger. Uh, as long as you adhere to the uniform color rules, you can do that. The other thing that really separates us from everybody else is the use of our app called the Blue Fox Tracker app. And it is basically a real-time battle map slash information HUD that you simply download onto your phone. When you're using the Blue Fox Tracker app, you're essentially looking at a map of the play area. So if we were looking at uh, the play area right now for Citadel Assault, we'd see the castle and a bunch of other structures because uh, it's basically just a Google image or the latest Google image from that area. And then what we do with the app is the app basically overlays capture points, the respawn points. We're also able to mark key areas of the map too, like we could mark the parking lot and where the restrooms are, the chrono. Uh, as I said, it's, it's essentially just an information hub for the game that you have already at your fingertips on something that we don't have to give you. Now, uh, one of the cool things about the app is since we are using essentially objective points or conquest points similar to Battlefield, is all of this happens in real time. So as you're looking at the map, you're gonna see yourself and you'll see all your other teammates as other blue or red dots on the field. And so you'll know where other friendly players are. You don't see the enemy, obviously. Uh, but when you come to a capture point, or a capture point area or objective zone, you'll physically see that capture point being captured in real time on your phone as you stand there. And then once it's captured, you can move on to the next one. And if there's enemies nearby, it'll show it as contested, so it'll show both colors. And which is kind of neat, because then, then you know like, oh, there's another bad guy around here. We should probably put our phones away and find that guy. But we are constantly always trying to add in more elements into the game. Uh, and with the app, it really gives us uh, a lot of flexibility to do, to do so. One of the things that we would love to implement in the future is give the commanders or other players the ability to call in uh, airstrikes or like an ion cannon or some sort of like other worldly uh, uh, support, support by fire element. And then also be able to watch that in augmented reality. So 
I mean, for here you see we have this castle, and the castle sometimes can be kind of a, a pain in the butt to take. But if you were able to say call in like a like a ion cannon or something onto the castle, and then actually hold your phone up to the area where it's happening and watch you know the the beam come down from space and then like hold your phone up and see it coming down would be really cool the breakdown of what you can expect at a desert fox event is on friday is check-in and chrono sometimes we'll have some other special events like for instance 2019 at each of our events on friday we had co2 powered nerf guns provided to us from elite force they were called wrecked guns and we would give those guns out to people so they could test the app. Saturday is nothing but pure gameplay starting at about 10 a.m. And we break the, uh, the day up into several matches. So you'll play a game for a couple hours and then come off the field, take a break, and then get back on the field for another match. We have different game modes as well. We have our standard kind of domination conquest game where there are several points strewn out the field and it's just up to each player or maybe with some, some guidance from our uh, uh, in-game leadership staff to take those points. And then we have another game mode called Breakthrough in which there are two points on a map with an attacker and a defender, point, uh, defender force. Once the attacker force takes the first two objectives, another two set of objectives will appear somewhere else on the map. And that'll keep going until uh, the attackers have captured all five objective points. Okay. Then on Sunday, is basically a half day so we still play either a breakthrough or a conquest uh, game mode depending on what the player base wants to play and then that'll probably end the day out at around noon or so and then depending on uh, the event we may have an end of game raffle or some other special event at the end of the game the emphasis for desert fox airsoft events is have fun